163 straight starts at Coastal. Drives the 1-0. This is a missile to right center, and it one hops the wall. That's an easy stand-up double. Lucky's eighth of the season. A nice start here in the first. And he drills the first pitch over to short. Another hard hit ball from Bender, and Campbell's defense is over it. Ooh, and Belbin gets hit by the very first pitch. Aaron competes. Now he hits one off the end of the bat into right field. So when things are going for a hitter, it certainly helps. First hit for the Camels tonight. Halstead off the end of the bat. Is this going to drop down? And it does. Only 90 feet at a time. Two duck farts and a hit by pitch have loaded the bases. The payoff results in a walk. And a base is loaded walk brings in the first run. Not the start Coastal wanted, but Campbell's doing a great job with that pitch. Gives one up over the middle, and it's driven to the gap. That gets down, and the bases will be cleared. The Camels cooking early, a 4-0 start on the RBI double. Great piece of hitting by Lawson Harrell. Got a fastball that looked like it leaked out over the middle of the zone. We saw who's been going inside to righties with that fastball, but it just stayed middle, and he's able to drive that ball right here, drive that ball in the right center gap, and great job by the right fielder there, Brown, trying to do all that he can to try to catch that ball. Another payoff pitch. Missed. What a battle from the redshirt freshman. That's a great at bat by Jonah there. Got him swinging. There's the second out. Big pitch from Hoosman. Free walk like we've seen. Good backdoor breaking ball. Challenge to short. What a snag by Riley. And the throw is late. That's Trent Harris with the throw. Arnold fields it well. And that ends the inning. Coastal strands one. Now he rips a line drive. This ball is over the wall. How about Bryce Arnold with his 13th home run? That's a Baker's dozen for the Camel Slugger. And if you're hot, you're hot. 3-0 pitch, got a fastball elevated inside. We saw him working inside to righties. Was able to get a good barrel on it. Backspin it just over the wall in left field. Great piece of hitting there by Bryce Arnold. We told you these teams could score runs. And that's just a veteran at bat there. 3-0, sitting dead, red fastball, got his pitch, and didn't miss. Arnold had nine home runs his first two seasons. He's probably tied for the third fastest on the team. He'll test that speed with a base hit up the middle. So six hits now for the fighting Campbell. It's come via the power, via the small ball, and it's resurrecting here in the second inning. It was right away. This ground ball might end the inning. Instead, it doesn't, and then it does. What a recovery by Mijos. Things are really get ready. Still doesn't make it easier, but as Eels scoops one to right center, there's another base hit. Eels wants two and has it. An easy double, second extra base hit for Coastal Carolina. It's from behind the plate. Ooh. Chad Bourne gets plunked, so two on with one out. That one's never fun. Drills the first pitch to short. Bryce Arnold shows off the arm, and that ends it. Two stranded for Coastal Carolina. As Pearson goes down, good fastball from Will Smith. Got him with a slider. What a pitch by Will Smith. This is popped up just behind the infield. Dooley, who moved over to short this inning, makes the catch. Play tonight. And another breaking ball. Look at Cummins rock and roll. One, two. Quick work. Ty Cummings back to back punch outs. Another line drive. Scooped down. Could be a triple here for Eels. Slides in a second with consecutive doubles. This extends the fifth. Another one-two. Caught the corner. 
Ty Cummings is fired up for this top 25 matchup. Halstead past the glove of Eels. And a leadoff single, third hit of the day for Halstead. And that ball, another off-speed pitch. He holds on the slider. Gets his breaking ball. And this will work, a base hit for Pearson. Halstead scores. Clutch hit for Drake. Pearson makes it 6-0. In the box and wants to deliver for his team. And drives one to center. This might work. It drops in. Whoa, who needs the bunt when you can get a single? Jonah Ouster with his third career RBI. Now he takes off. And a little slow hit and run chopper to short. Dooley with a nice play. Graham Brown rips the 0-1. And that drops in. Weller preventing a double there, gives up the single. In a, a very interesting route. Ball was top spin off the bat out to left field. Time and time again tonight, it's possible. Ooh, off the foot of Wiegman. Long play to first, and that's late. We'll hope the pitcher's okay. That one came hard. Pena rolls one to third, and it gets by. That'll score a run. So Coastal Carolina on the board with the RBI double by Orlando Pena. Make it two for six. That'll score a run and an infield single. So we got a five-run game all of a sudden. And just like that, you know, a couple walks, a couple hits. Would love to pick it up here. And does just that. Until a diving catch. Are you kidding me? Jared Belbin. This pop-up should do it. Weller can't get there. Two-run score. What a big RBI double by Nick Lucky, finding his lucky charm. And we mentioned earlier in the game, Max Weller out there playing left field. A couple balls in front of him, he kind of checked up and let him go and didn't dive for him. But Bender rips one. Weller makes the catch. He's been all over the place today, and that catch saves another run. Last Tuesday against Duke, and that leads to a base hit. So welcome back in the order. Thompson's first hit since March 25th. And swings and misses. He may try to sweep that slider away. Back to the fastball, 92. Tyndall not afraid of the moment. Belbin gets it down. Thompson jogs home, and it's 8-4 to four on the two-out knock. And we mentioned he loves going back to that, that fastball. He's got four other pitches, but great job. Belbin hitting through the shift as the second baseman's playing. Down in Conway. Ooh, Arnold got hit. He hit his front arm. I don't think that one was protected by a guard, but he'll take it. But he can do it for a hit if he wants to. This is dangerous over the mound. Only play to first is in time. That is an out at first base, so the inning's over. What a breaking ball by Boxrucker. There's his first punch out. So the one two is the slider. Nip finishes it off. And a perfect inning for Cade Boxrucker. Campbell's pitching staff holding down the third ranked scoring team in the country to just four. Kept it quiet here in the late innings. As a leadoff walk gives Weller his third walk of the night. That ties a season best. Ooh, Harrell gets hit. And now two on with nobody out. Another big swing. And you could tell Pearson pressing a bit there on that slider. Now he hits one into the gap, and look at that speed go to work. Weller scores, Thompson's in the second easily. And the quick wheels of Dalen Thompson extend the lead. Great piece of, piece of hitting there by Dalen Thompson, full count in the outside corner or go slider. There's the slider, and what a punch out for the second out. Rick Campbell has nine in. This might end the 10th. 
Eels hangs on. We go to the ninth. The three-two. Misses up with Jetter. No, he caught the strike zone. Whoa, second out. Now the three-two. Ends it with a fastball. Campbell takes down nationally ranked Coastal Carolina. Their third ranked win of the season and a big one. Nine to four over the Shawnee Clears. Thank you.